studies have shown that drinking water naturally boosts your metabolism and drinking fruit infused water can help with weight loss and it's an easy way to increase your water intake. Nutrition expert Donnie Beckham has a look at some pretty easy recipes. Donnie? This time of year, we don't think a whole lot about getting dehydrated, but did you know that you can actually dehydrate as quick, if not quicker, during the cooler winter temperatures than you can during the heat of the summer? That's because we tend to stay inside a little bit more and the humidity is a lot lower during this time of year than it is in the summertime. So our bodies start to lose moisture because we are in cooler temperatures and then we might be sitting in front of the fireplace, which even takes more humidity out of the air in our homes. So you really need to be mindful of your water intake during the winter months, even if you're not outside exerting yourself. And especially if you are exercising and exerting yourself, you still need to be aware of your water intake, even though you don't feel like you're thirsty and maybe you're not sweating because it's not hot outside right now. So one of the things that I wanted to invite you to do is to think again about water infusion. We've talked about this before, but I've got some really different and interesting recipes to share with you today. And these are ones that really need to kind of sit and cook, so to speak. So you have to prepare these in advance. So you want to have something like a large mason jar with a good lid that seals, or if you have a like a Rubbermaid pitcher that has a lid on it that you can put in the refrigerator, because you want these to really infuse and get all of the, the wonderful flavors and aromas of these different things that we're going to put together. Now, some of these things may sound a little bit odd, and we're not used to putting herbs and things like that in our water, but I promise you, this will help you to drink more water during this time of year because it'll give it a really nice, different flavor and cause you to want to sip on it just a little bit more. Now, don't worry about writing all these down. I will post these recipes for you on Facebook later today. So be sure that you like my Facebook page at Fitness Nutrition Consulting so that you can get all of these recipes. So start out first of all with your container. And then here's a really easy recipe that you may have had before, green tea and mint really easy to do but you want to use just a little bit less green tea than you would for a normal cup of tea so if you're using tea bags you might want to just use one tea bag if you're used to using two especially in a little bit larger container and then don't worry if you don't have your own mint plant or if you don't have an herb garden because there are lots of different varieties of herbs that you can get in our local grocery stores. Now, these either need to be refrigerated or you need to put them in a cup of water so that they can stay nice and hydrated so that they will be nice and fresh for you to use in your water infusion. Here's another really great recipe. This is a mandarin orange with grape and basil. Now again, basil is not something that we normally put in our water, but it has such a wonderful aroma and it will give such a nice flavor to your water that you will want to try this one. Here's another one that's very interesting, pear and cinnamon stick. Now you want to use the whole cinnamon stick and not powdered cinnamon because powdered cinnamon does not mix with water. So be sure that you get cinnamon stick to use for this recipe. Next is cucumber and thyme. And again, if you don't have an herb garden, you can find thyme in the produce department of most of our local grocery stores. Next one is grapefruit and rosemary. Rosemary is another one of those very pungent herbs that if you get the oil on your skin, it has a wonderful aroma. And again, these don't sound like they're gonna go too well together, but I promise you these flavors and aromas in your water are really, really nice. And then the last one is green apple, ginger, and lemon. Now, ginger is really good if you have stomach issues. If you ever have any kind of upset stomach or a little bit of a sour stomach, ginger is really good for that. Now, again, these recipes do need to kind of sit and percolate overnight. So you want to make these ahead of time if you plan on taking them with you for your exercise routine or if you plan to take them with you to your office. So you want to prepare them in advance. And if you don't like regular water, you can also use a couple of different varieties of water that will actually help hydrate you even more. Coconut water, we've talked about before, actually hydrates you better than just plain tap water or bottled water because it has those natural enzymes in it that your body needs and electrolytes for when you are exercising and you may have lost some of those during the, uh, the exercise process. You can also use um, carbonated water and it comes in cans and bottles. It's really easy to get at the grocery store or if you have your own 
carbonation system, you can add carbonated water to these to give it a little bit of a fizz. If you don't like just the flat water and you, you're, you're used to drinking carbonated drinks, then using a sparkling water or a carbonated water in these recipes would give it a little bit more interest and taste. So again, all of these recipes are things that you do need to do in advance, so you want to prepare ahead of time. Make sure that you have the, the canister that you want to put it in and that you've got plenty of time to prepare these. And I will post the recipes on Facebook at Fitness Nutrition Consulting. And be sure to like the page, and you can also follow me on Twitter at Donnie Beckham.